Hey everybody, it's Brian House here for Housework, and today I am removing the crusty, nasty, gross outer layer of this 28-year-old Sportster engine. Um, comes off a 1991 XLH 1200, which is the it's a Harley Davidson Sportster. So, how I'm doing this, you can see the difference between these two. Uh, jugs these two heads and uh, rocker covers it really is um, it's really starting to shine up nice and the, and the best way to get this done really is with a wire wheel uh, it's it's pretty aggressive you know you have to be careful with this thing but it spins fast and it will remove quite a bit of the the layers of whatever this is I think this is clear coat on here not really 100% sure but the that's flaking off big time uh the engine's been run you know run hard for the last 28 years it's got a lot of miles on it and it's time to clean it up the primary cover we did by hand and then finished it with the wire wheel you can see there's some really nice polish that's going on here this will continue although for this particular build i really don't want to go shiny chrome i you know none of that i really just like this wire wheeled look of aluminum it's kind of shiny kind of not uh, but it allows the engine to show its age which i think is really cool and i want to continue w along those lines with this the theme of this bike i'm gearing up for the removal of these two jugs and i'm in the process of doing a full top end on this I haven't yet pulled the trigger on that. I've never done it before. So I've watched a bunch of videos on YouTube. Um, one of which is Hammer Performance. Those guys are awesome. Uh, he shows the, the technique of trying to find top dead center on this thing. Uh, so I'm in the process of learning about how to do that and figure that all out. Top dead center on the compression stroke, right? And then if, if I do it right, then I can pull the heads off. So anyhow, quick tip on just getting the grime and, and grease off this. I first sprayed the whole thing down with Simple Green, let that soak in, wiped it off by hand. Simple Green, let it soak in, wiped it off by hand. And then got to the point where most of the grease had been removed. Because if you don't remove the grease... You're just going to swirl it around with a wire wheel. So you really need to just get all that grease off of there. And then once you have a pretty clean surface to start with, it doesn't have to be spotless, but pretty clean, uh, you can start hitting it with the wire wheel. And it's pretty straightforward. You know, I mean, just go at it gently. If you start seeing big grooves being put in the aluminum, slow down, stop. Uh, the, the angle of the wire wheel also matters. If you have it kind of on its side and, and cockeyed, it'll start to groove in a little bit. For me, I don't really care so much about that. I am not going for a full polished look on this. Uh, some people may want that. I'm, in my opinion, I don't like that. Uh, so it's my personal preference. It does not affect the way that the machine works at all. So anyhow, again, thanks for watching. I do appreciate you, appreciate you watching. Uh, if you can please like and please subscribe to my channel, that would be fantastic. Uh, I'm working on shifting my focus a little bit away from the captaining thing. I don't know if you guys know, but um, I got cancer a few years ago um, and it was directly related to how much I was in the sun. So um, I had to stop. That whole lifestyle had to shift. Uh, so I needed to put my energy somewhere and I decided to put my energy into uh, you know, this for now, you know, working with my hands and doing that kind of thing. So And my full-time day job, which is you know, fixing electronics. So anyhow, um, you know, what I think something I'm struggling with when I do this work or when I look at this type of situation I'm in, like trying to make YouTube videos and share my knowledge with people um, or at least share my experience, maybe that's the better way of saying it. Um, I think that... Uh, it used to be that I had like just a whole lot to say, and now I don't feel like that anymore. I don't feel like I have that much to say anymore. I feel like I just want to share and educate and show what I'm up to because what I'm up to is usually pretty unique and fun. Uh, 
And also through collaboration, we can get more done and it can get done better. Um, but now YouTube has become kind of this playground for just idiocy and it's kind of unfortunate what it's moving into. Although I'm trying not to focus on all that stuff. I truly, really, truly want to just like throw the knowledge out there and like have fun with it and still continue like the old days and see hopefully, hopefully that the general consensus is to support the people who are truly doing the work that, you know, YouTube was designed for, not hate speech or uh, ridiculous concepts or sales and all that stuff, even though sales plays a part of it. Anyway, I'm rambling now and um, I'm going to continue grinding away, getting ready and prepared to pull these, pull these uh, pistons and we're going to do the rings. We're going to do the whole top end. I've got the whole kit. I've got everything now except for the C clips. Uh, they're called um, wrist pin clips that you need to replace. I ordered them. They're on their way. But uh, I've seen guys on YouTube do a top end in like a couple of hours, which to me, it just seems so intimidating. You know, like I'm looking at it going, God, if you do something wrong, you could really mess it up. Although when you watch it, it doesn't look that complicated. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> I've rebuilt some engines before. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this one. Anyhow, thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, and have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Instagram at house underscore underscore work. That's two underscores between those words. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button and leave us a like.